so today I'm going to do a, uh, a little testing on this um, Earthquake Brushless XT um, four and a half inch grinder from Harbor Freight. Um, one thing I do not like is that the screws, you have to unscrew the screws to shift the shield. Um, my, uh, my Bosch uh, plugged in grinder, you can actually just um, push a tab on the side, kind of like the, the button to lock the wheel, and you can actually just push the tab and then shift it. But, you know, it's not really a bad thing. I do like that you can mount um, on, the, on both sides and the top, so that's a plus. Um, I already had batteries because I have other XT. Um, earthquake XT tools. Um, it's got the, the power on the side and an auto lock, so you just shove it all the way up. So that's a plus. So I also have a um, a Warrior four and a half inch lap disc. It's a thirty grit lap disc. Part number six seven six three nine. It is a little windy out here, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. See how well it turns out. Removing some rust from this old rotor just to see how well it does. I also wanted to see how well the, the actual flat disc do, and it does have a nice brake. It's got an auto brake on it. doesn't do too bad it doesn't do too bad at all you know I'm sorry if it's too uh, it's a little windy out here I don't know if it's uh, causing any issues on the the audio but it's not doing too bad of job the flap disc isn't isn't doing too bad either uh, for the price
You can see it didn't do too bad of a job. This is the front. back you can tell it's a pretty rusty rotor but I'm only using this rotor for um, purposes to test out this grinder so walk back inside so we have a little um, a little easier to see So, what do I think of this Earthquake Brushless XT 4.5 inch ankle grinder? I honestly think it's, uh, it's not bad for, it's normally $145, I believe, but I got... I used a 20% coupon and I uh, also used a uh, a coupon specifically for this grinder so I got it for like 130 I think it was what it was um, all in all it's not bad I like the selector switch um, you just push it on and you can see the break um, there's a couple things that I don't particularly like. Um, the tool that comes with this that goes into the holes to unscrew the nut to get the blade off. The tool is kind of chintzy. Um, if you're gonna, if you're gonna buy one of these, I would suggest using, uh, a, a Bosch angle grinder tool or uh, a DeWalt tool. It seems to be a normal chuck. Um, the holes are evenly apart. I checked them against my Bosch tool for my Bosch angle grinder. It seems to be the exact same. It works just fine. Um, it takes, I got a four amp hour battery in it right now. And I still have right now Three bars on the battery and it was a full fully charged battery and it plugged it in it, it is nice it stands you can stand it on a counter with the battery I do like that I do like that you could put the handle in the front and both sides um, the warrior flap disc for all of that grinding it wasn't too bad and there's still plenty on the flap disc so all in all for a dollar something for the flap disc isn't it too bad uh, this is a 36 grit 13,300 max rpms I think if I remember correctly this only does like 8600 rpms it's not extremely fast um, but but I think my my Bosch angle grinder only does, I think, 9,000 or 10,000 maybe. But all in all, it's a pretty good grinder. Um, only time will tell. I'll do a little more in-depth on it um, in another video. But uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any updates. And I'll see you on the next video.